At each relocation center, evacuees were met by an advanced contingent of Japanese who had arrived some days earlier and who now acted as guides. Naturally, the newcomers looked about with some curiosity. They were in a new area, on land that was raw, untamed, but full of opportunity. Here they would build schools, educate their children, reclaim the desert. Hello everyone, I am Jaden Beckus and the current Japanese club president. February 19th marks Day of Remembrance in which Executive Order 9066 caused the internment of Japanese Americans during World War II. This video will present a summary on why we recognize this day, but there is also a full video on this topic in the video description. We were in, uh, a victim of Executive Order 9066 and were wrongly imprisoned. Uh, what would you bring with you and how would you feel about the order? I would bring with me like maybe pictures of my family I guess to try and remember anybody that I might have been separated with. Clothes and whatever food I can bring for the time being. I'd bring with me just like some clothes I guess that I feel very uh, you know are close to me I guess. How would you feel about the US government's order? I would feel a little betrayed. It is what it is. We gotta thug it out. Uh, disappointed. In the country? Yes, in the country, yeah. Pretty bad. So why is it important to know about Japanese incarceration today? Uh, Mark Twain once said that history doesn't repeat itself, but it does rhyme. And so I think that kind of puts into like the picture that um, we need to be mindful of these like seemingly small things because then they could quickly snowball into tragedies that could have easily been avoided if only like we were more aware of what we were doing. So what could you do? Uh, you could watch out for any offensive jokes that are against anybody, or you could not be a bystander and call out those who are being more towards the racial uh, idea. What's up, bikes? I hope you guys had a good four-day weekend, and welcome to CHN. Here is some updates from Curtis High School. The Drama Club is excited to announce that they will be holding auditions for this year's Senior Directed uh, One Acts on March 2nd and 3rd from 2.30 to 5 p.m. If you've been interested in getting involved with Drama Club, One Acts are a great time to do so. This is your chance to showcase your acting talent on stage. If you have any questions regarding the audition process, please do not hesitate to contact Ms. Curley. In other news, tickets are now on sale for Dance Blast 2023. This year's amazing production features more than 50 dancers and a variety of dance styles. Performances will take place on February 23rd through 25th at 7 p.m. at Curtis High School Theater. All tickets are priced at $12 for pre-sale and $15 at the door. To avoid the hassle of long lines, tickets can be purchased online at vancoevents.com. If you have any questions about the event, please contact Ms. Molinero. Let's look at some opportunities that are happening right now. Um. Hey, just give me all your money. Give me all your valuable, nothing's gonna happen to you. Oh boy, I gotta deal with this again. Okay, let me see what I have. Nope. Definitely not. How much stuff you had in that pocket of yours? I have no idea where I'm getting all of this. Anyway, let's do this. Oh boy, I should probably get the club to help us with this one. All right, roll initiative. Within and I've been there before But that life's a ball, so full of the superficial And some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got it, you, baby Some people want diamond rings Today we're going to be learning our love languages in Spanish with Señor Brambila. All right. Um, so the first phrase that I want to learn is how do you say uh, hi in Spanish? You say hola. Hola. 
That's pretty simple. Or you can say, hola, que tal? Que tal? What does that mean? Uh, que tal? Que tal? Okay. Perfect. Right, what does that mean? It means, how are you? How are you? Okay, that's perfect. That's what I was going to ask you next. So it was, hola, que tal? Excelente. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next phrase I wanted to ask you was, how do you say I love you in Spanish? You say, te quiero. Te quiero. Yeah, pronounce that uh, R as in letter, te quiero. Te quiero. No. Ro. Ro. I can't yeah. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Very soft roll. Te okay. quiero. Te quiero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. So, um, would you say that to um, a friend or a lover or your family? Like, how would you say that? You can say it to a friend. It's it's also a very soft way to say that to like a parent as well. It's typically we say te amo to parents. That's like a you know very strong love okay. for a parent for a family member. But te quiero is very acceptable. All right. Thank you so much. Gracias. <laughs> ah. Excellent. Ah, thank you. <laughs> now we're gonna learn how to say these love languages in Japanese with. Um, how do you say uh, hello in Japanese? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty okay. simple. Yeah. 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 What I've learned is that um, all these languages, it's actually really easy to say oh. common phrases. Now we're gonna learn our love languages with uh, students from our Japanese class. So, uh, what's your name? Seth. Seth. All right. So how do you say how are you? Genki desu ka? Genki desu ka? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's just a, a normal question you ask someone, just, hey, yeah. like, are you happy? Ka? Yeah. Are you happy? Okay. Yeah. And then the last question I want to ask you is, uh, how do you say I love you in Japanese? Um, daisuki desu. Daisuki desu. Yes. So des is uh, a phrase and desu ka is a question? Yeah. Ka, oh. ka is actually like the question. Like you put ka at the end of the sentence to like to make it a question. So. Oh, okay. That's actually really nice. Yeah. You know, you don't have to ask if it's a question or not. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Spring Forward trials start on Monday, February 27th. Be sure you are registered and in touch and have an up-to-date physical. Jerome is now accepting applications for 6th grade camp counselors. We will be going to Camp Seymour again this year from May 15th to May 17th. Jerome is looking for committed counselors who enjoy being positive leaders for young students. If you're interested, please stop by the guidance office to pick up an information application packet. We are accepting applications online now through March 24th. You can access the application from the DRUM homepage under Academics and then 6th grade. Please contact Ms. Vandenberg at DRUM if you have any questions, comments, or requests. That's all for now. Thank you for tuning in and have a great week. Go, Go Bikes! bikes.